Whoa! Are you ready for some riddles today? <laughs> With it sounding like that? <laughs> Hell yes, I am. I can smell it. Uh, it smells so good. Uh, per it oh, smells like it. minimal smells like comment like type riddles. Oh, that sounds great. Sally didn't want to go to school that day. Oh, she's just so over it. She came to her mother. Mommy, I don't feel well. <laughs> Sally's forehead felt hot to the hold touch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta warn me what? before you do those kinds of things, all right? I'm sorry. I didn't I'm know sorry. that was coming. All right, let's go. Sally felt warm to the touch, and her mother let Sally stay home. What a good mom. She's not even touching her. Yeah, she is. How did she trick her mother? She put the blow dryer on her forehead. Oh my goodness, that hint was right there. You, you got it. <laughs> That's a warm up riddle. You know, that voice changer got me going. You know, got the juices flowing. You know what I mean? It did get the juices flowing. The juices are flowing. Wow. <laughs> Someone pushed Dean out the window. Yikes. Glad right ah! I'm not Dean. He fell off the 20 story building. That's pretty darn Whoa, high. Dean oh, just comes, he comes at us. He dies instantly. Poor thing. Sorry, Dean. Better luck next time. I just want to see that guy fall out of that building once more. <laughs> Dean? Come on, Dean. You know better than that. Mm, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> no one of the witnesses saw who did it. Hmm. The detective questioned Dean's friends. Thomas. You, Thomas. I was just looking around when... God! He talks too fast. <laughs> I was just looking around when Sally screamed. Okay. I turned around and saw the window broken. All right. I was pushed after Dean, but I didn't die. I caught the window pane and didn't fall off. Oh, you sure about that, Sophia? Yeah, I don't know about that, Sophia, but okay. She takes a lot longer to see her. Okay, Sophia, get out of here. <laughs> I was drinking coffee and looking around the room. Wait, that's all she's going to say? <laughs> wow. Okay, so I was pushed too, but I grabbed the window. I was drinking coffee. And oh, I was looking around. But there's still more to it. Okay. The detective asked them <laughs> to show their hands. Show me your hands. Thomas. Thomas. Dirty, dirty, dirty hands. Dirty dog. Sophia, her hands are fine. Clean. They probably smell good too. And Sally, her hands are crystal Sally, clean. Sally, like butter. Who killed Dean? Wow. Well, they're trying to make it just like all these arrows pointing at Thomas, right? Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to bait us. But Sophia said that she caught the window pane right after she was or let's okay, hold on. No, you're right. Sophia was pushed, but she grabbed the window, but her hands aren't dirty, so it was Sophia. Yep. Let's do it. We were right! Yes. If she had caught the window pane, why her hands so clean? Yeah. Oh, she would have cut her hands on the broken glass. That too. Get your facts straight with your two-tone hair. Ooh, which mom is more stupid? The mom letting the kid play with the butcher knife or the mom letting the kid go, I want to iron your clothes. <laughs> which one? <laughs> oh, I know which one's more stupid. I'm going to go with butcher knife kid. Yeah, yeah. why? Why am I going to go with butcher knife kid? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just don't like the way he looks. Something about him. <laughs> well, actually, Iron Baby is mm -hmm. almost off the chair. So Iron, yeah, I mean, that's pretty dumb. But Iron Baby's... Iron is unplugged. Oh. Yeah. Is the butcher knife unplugged? Well, you can't unplug that. That's why the other mom is more stupid. Yeah, that mom is stupid. They're both stupid, though. <laughs> They're both ugly, too. Mom on the right, she could get it. <laughs> I'd sign those true. adoption papers. Which mom is more stupid? The kid <laughs> drinking bleach? <laughs> is this YouTube friendly, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's a toilet cleaner. The kid drinking some toilet cleaner or the kid that eating makes it better. way too many. I think this is going to be a comment. The kids could get permanent brain damage, though, from all <laughs> yeah. those chemicals. Who is it? Who's dumber? Yeah, who is it? What? They didn't tell us. That's basically a comment. Oh! Let's go, let's go. You are in your office on the 34th floor. Suddenly, the fire broke out in the entire building. Oh my god! <laughs> It'll collapse in a few minutes, Jay. Uh. And you have three ways to escape from the burning building. All right, what is it? The elevator. Do the not elevator. use in case of fire. Just trying to let you know. He's Jump out of the window. Oh, oh yikes. This is that, gonna that's be... a big yikes. Yeah, that's a bit bad. Go down the stairs. I mean, that's what I would do personally, but it's only a few minutes before it collapses. You're huh. on the 34th floor. Well, what obviously, 
the middle solution is the dumbest one. Yes. He's on the 34th floor. The chances of surviving that is a big, big yikes. Yeah, it's very minimal. The first one, dang, man. Okay. Me personally, I'd go down the <laughs> stairs. I can go downstairs real fast. Like, I would, I like to jump down, like, Almost the whole flight. Yeah, just like jump off the whole thing, right? You don't care. Yeah. It's a fire. You exactly. got the adrenaline kicking. You're not trying to go exactly. down each individual step. Like nobody got time for that. Let's do it. Yeah, my only concern would be to get like stuck behind a bunch of other people who are trying to get down the stairs. And like, I'm trying to like jump down like eight stairs at what a time. What if you jump over like, them? What if you use them as like a surfboard and then you jump? Yeah, what like if a you magic use carpet? them to like put out the fire, like a blanket? <laughs> like push them on the fire and then walk over them like hot coals? You're thinking outside the box, I like it. <laughs> Hey, any way to survive, right? Wait, what? Okay, it's definitely too high. You would definitely <laughs> die. He jumped holding his head like that. <laughs> oh, the stairs are likely to be blocked. Are you trying to tell me to take the elevator? This situation is extreme, so it's time to break the rules. <laughs> so it's what? time to break the rules. <laughs> this is some serious like survival riddle right here. So what? wait, you have to patiently wait as the elevator goes down. <laughs> All right, I guess. Yeah. Actually, you know what that reminds me of, Cassie? Like when they say in the movie theater, if something happens, like patiently walk out, like don't run. Mm -hmm. Like hell no. Would you run or would you walk? I'd fly out of the fire exit so fast no one would know that I was even there. I know, I'd be like a football player just like getting everybody out of my way. <laughs> You'd be knocking people over who you don't even have to knock over. Yeah, like moms, You'd babies, be going, yeah, pregnant women out there. You'd be going out, out of here. your way to like, get out of my way. <laughs> okay, but Jay, seriously though, yes. which mom? is more stupid. Tornado mom, like go play in the, go play in the tidal wave in the tornado. Or I'm gonna take selfies of my kid in the tub. <laughs> I'm gonna take selfies while my baby is <laughs> drowning in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, eh, hey, baby. See, he's actually saying help. He yeah, he it. is. Like that, that motion right there, that's not, that's not a fun time. No. That's like life and mm -mm. death struggling right there. <laughs> and then kid is Aww. staring straight into the tornado. Yeah, I would say that one's more stupid for sure. Mrs. Jones, oh, damn it. <laughs> Get it right, Cassie. Mrs. Jones woke up in the morning and found out that- We've done this. Damn it. You like clubbing, Jay? I do. If, if there's people like that there, oh yeah. Okay, well, is this one gonna be you? That's gonna be me. He's gonna be grinding on me. <laughs> I think I'd be this guy. <laughs> oh, I with just the, like the way he moves. With the peace signs across the eyes, like. <laughs> <laughs> Susan spent the night in a club and came home at dawn. Party yeah. animal. Yeah, well, at least she got home. Ah! Later, her mom found her dead. Too much fun. Oh no. <laughs> Never have too much fun, kids. My sweet daughter's dead. Whoa. <laughs> Stop, that gave me okay. the chills. Stop. <laughs> Some witnesses told the police that Susan was talking to three men in the club that night. Which one was it? The policeman interviewed all three of them. Paul? I suggested that we should go to a restaurant <laughs> mm. to get to know each other a bit, you know? <laughs> it's just mm. completely casual. But she refused. Okay. Nile, be Nile. I never visit. Damn it. <laughs> you can't play me like that, Cassie. I never visit girls living with their moms. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I believe it. He looks like he lives with his mom. <laughs> well, I believe it, though. It's a good excuse. You want me to do Kyle, too? Yes. What kind of, like, uh, meathead type? Oh, the biggest meathead you can do. All right. We just exchanged a few words. <laughs> okay, Kyle. <laughs> she is not my type. Why not, Kyle? Because he likes, I don't know, he likes them thick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed Susan? Now, I've got a hunch. What do you think? I don't know. Like, Kyle, he seems like the obvious choice. You know what I mean? In what way? Like, he just has a chain on. He has a typical generic heart <laughs> tattoo. He just looks like somebody that kills on a Thursday night. Wait, why wasn't she Kyle's type? He just said, she is not my type. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, we don't know what his so... type is, but we know that that's not his type unless he's lying. I feel like it could be Niall. He seems creepy. He says he doesn't. Oh, it was Niall. Why? Because he said, I never visit girls living with their moms. How would he, How know, did he know that the mom, oh my, Cassie? Cassie? What? We gonna say Niall on three? No, no, I'm gonna say Paul. What? Why? Because she was out until the early morning and restaurants aren't open in the early morning. Oh, 
The girl could have said, like, wanna come to my mom's house, and now I was like, I'm out! Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, Paul on three? But they, no, 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 they could have went to a Denny's and got a Grand Slam that early in the morning, though, so I could be wrong. Cassie, you're killing me right now, you're killing me right now. Is it, <laughs> okay, is it Paul okay. or is it Niall? Uh, you say Niall, I'll say Paul. We gotta agree. Okay, fine. I, s Niall, I think Niall. Niall. Okay, Niall on yep. three? Three, two, one. Niall! Niall! But I said on three, you counted down from three to one. It's not oh, y'all! Yeah! <laughs> How did he get to know that she lived with her mother? I mean, she could have told him, but that's besides the point, Thinking outside the box. That's what we do. Okay. What, what, is what the heck going is that? On here! What is going on here? The, okay, so porcupine girl or pregnant skiing girl? Okay, both of these girls are pregnant. I am nervous. Comments! Okay. I, Let us know honestly, in the comments. The porcupine thing could be an accident, but skiing is definitely Wait, not Wait, don't girls an do accident. that like they poke needles into themselves? Like acupuncture? I've done that. What does that even do? It, it's supposed to... You oh. don't know. Go to the next riddle. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yes. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Lana loves reading. She loves it. That's cute. Once she went to the bookstore. That's how many times I went to a bookstore. <laughs> to buy a new book. <laughs> oh, you're so dumb. <laughs> She saw a book that seemed interesting. You're dumb. I am not dumb, but suddenly a guy grabbed it first. Oh, hi there, sweetie. Oh, man, what a hunk. Lana looked really disappointed, but wasn't attractive enough. She doesn't look disappointed. <laughs> hi, do you want this book too? I'll give it to you. Oh, uh, you will? I will. You'll get You're you'll gonna give have to come me? get it first. <laughs> they had a friendly chat. <laughs> the guy's name was Peter. Ah, uh, Peter Piper. And he was a young writer. Why is this relevant? Peter asked Lana for a date, and they met at a nice restaurant. And he brought his notepad. And had a great time. Wow! Sometimes Peter wrote something in his notebook. Okay, that would make me nervous if I was like out on a date and a guy was like taking notes. I'm like, what are you writing? Like, get out of here, you creep. Sorry, I just have to make a call. Why? Okay, he's taking notes and now he's bailing to make a call? Oh, he gave me his notebook? No, he left it on the table. Wait. Then Peter took Lana home. What? And they agreed to meet again? Okay, so it went kind of well. I yeah. guess Peter's just a bit of a weirdo. A few days later, Peter was found dead at his place. Wait, Peter died? I thought Lana was gonna die. <laughs> yeah, me too. No doubt, though. It was definitely Lana. But there was no evidence against her. <laughs> She's just smiling. <laughs> She's always smiling. Ah, that face. How did oh. Lana kill Peter? Don't oh. hurt me, Lana. Wait. How did Lana oh, okay. kill Peter? There was not enough context in there. Okay, so he was he was a writer. Yeah. He disappointed her, but then he made it up to her. He took notes and then went out to take a call. And then he died? And then he took her home and then he just died a few days later? Yeah. How did he die? When they first met, he grabbed the book that she wanted to grab first and she was like, oh, you're dead. Would she be that mad about it though? Hey, some people who are into their books, I feel like they would kill. <laughs> okay, okay, point yeah. taken. Okay, but how did she do it? How? This one's so open, she could have killed him in any way. Mm. She could have, like, put something in, like, some poisonous ink in. Like, she could have put some, like, rice in, in his, like, ink. You talk like you know. But then... You talk like you, uh... Yeah. You, you talk like... Very few. Very <laughs> few bodies. So, what's your final answer? How did Lana kill Peter? I think she poisoned his pen. Why, did he put it to his mouth sometimes? If he did, that was definitely the answer. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Cassie. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't? Maybe she wrote in his notebook, like, I'm gonna expose you next week, boy. <laughs> this one's hard. Like, this one's actually really hard. Okay, they met at a nice restaurant, had a great time. I'm gonna say she poisoned his ice cream that's on the table. Or and then it took a few days to kick in? Yeah, it's, it's a slow burn. Oh, he you know? is putting his pen by his oh! mouth. Oh, yes. Yes, there we go. That's the answer, Cassie. Okay, so was the call just completely irrelevant? No, she found the perfect time to poison the pen. She looked at it. You saw that? Oh. Uh... She looked at it, put something on there. I don't know what she put on there. Like, who just carries poison to a restaurant? I have no idea, but I think <laughs> you're right, Cassie. She poisoned the pen. He happened to put it towards his mouth. And it was a slow burn, and he died. Okay, we oh. did it. We okay. did it, Jay. We're so smart. We did it. I'm high-fiving the camera. Now, you're what? I high-fived the camera, but you left me hanging, so it's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not um, going to do it no more. Oh, oh, okay, fine. Well, I mean, hopefully our answer is right. That'll make me feel better. Look at that face, though. It's so evil. It's not very reassuring. You're right, Cassie. Let's see. She smeared poison on the top of his pen. I knew it. And then it came out. 
She just has a <laughs> bottle of poison. <laughs> we are so good. I just don't get why he died later, but whatever. <laughs> the pizza. Deuces. Annie was having her hand party. What's a hand party? Her hand party? <laughs> yeah. Uh, her hand is party. Is it an acronym for something? Hose huge and... Ass. Let's not finish either of our sentences. <laughs> <laughs> 2017, Jay would have finished that sentence. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Annie was having her hand party before the wedding. Awesome. I'm really excited for this one. She had a wonderful day with her three best friends. They're all fake. Oh, okay. Oh, in the evening, Annie died. I knew. But it. her Come hand on. party went so well. Her tongue's out too. The autopsy showed she was poisoned. The police questioned Annie's friends, Mia, Paula, and Claire. Mia says, oh, first we ate pizza in a cafe and talked. I know the pizza looks good, but that's besides the point. Paula says, then we went to the bar. Duh. Some tequila shots. And we were dancing and drinking champagne straight from the bottle. We were sharing the bottle, so it couldn't have been me. <laughs> and Claire says, in the morning, we went to eat Annie's favorite ice cream. Okay. All girls wait. ate the same food and drank the same champagne. Very important. How could only Annie be poisoned? They were all in on it. That's my guess. They were all in. That is evil. That is so, so evil, like, right? Yeah, the other girls were like taking bites and like going to the bathroom and like puking it out or something. Yeah, they were like, what's a hand party? She's dead. Exactly. Like they're just like teaming up. Yeah, especially because like I, you could say that they only like poisoned like one ice cream and one pizza, but then the champagne is like, eh. So I think that they were all in on it too. I agree. All in on it? All in on it. In on it. In, in on it. it. Ew. Wait. Okay, where was the poison then? Where was the poison? Because the poison wasn't in the food or drink. Wait, the ice cream. Oh. The girl who did the ice cream poisoned her individual ice cream. Oh. It was on Annie's spoon. Oh. Oh, okay. You ready for something even more gruesome than that? I'm ready. John went to wake the kids up for school. When he entered the room, he found his youngest daughter dead. With a knife inside of Oh my no! god! No! Through the blanket too. John called the police right away. What in the world? I know, it's just gruesome. Hey, seven second riddles don't play. <laughs> no, they do not they play. Nobody is safe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little girl seven second riddle. <laughs> yeah. oh Jay's terrified. Goodness. The detective interviewed everyone in the house, the father, the mother, Emma, and Tom, the brother. Man. All right, go, John. I just got up and went to wake the kids up. I was making breakfast, and John said our baby was dead. <laughs> so it definitely wasn't me. I was asleep when I Wait. woke up. Whoa, OK, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I was asleep when I woke up to hear dad screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe that. I believe it. Who did it? Wait, what did John say again? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh to be honest, I was like, what voice am I going to do for this guy? And I didn't even pay attention. I'm going to say that it's the mom. I have no real reason for that. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's the mom. Okay. Like, I, n I don't have a reason for the first time in the history of this thing, but I'm just going to say it's the mom. <gasps> She has served up only three plates of food. She was ready. She was preparing for this day. I know. Let's go. What an what a jerk. The police were chasing a serial killer. He sneaked to the territory of a factory. Dun, 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 dun. The police followed him. <laughs> and saw three doors. Of course there's I love three, these doors. three doors. I know, I love it. There was no way out except the doors. Where is the killer? In the snow. <laughs> oh, I know where he is. Where is he? Wait, is it like obvious? Yeah. What the? But not so obvious that it's the snow. Is it the footprints leading up to the snow? Mm, it's not the snow. It's not the snow? Okay, hold on. No. Let me open my eyes. Let me figure this out. Um, wait, there's something broken around door number three. What is that? Yeah, so I think that he went into door number three because like he opened the door and it broke off the icicles. Oh, yeah. But how come Whereas the icicles on one are intact? And then two is gone, but there's snow covering door number two. Unless he like made a mound of snow and went like, they won't know that I'm in here. Actually, he could have done that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say he's in the snow. Are you gonna do number three? Yeah. All right. Come on, number three. Come on in the snow. No, number three. No, come on. it's the snow, Cassie. Oh! Yeah, he ran into the door and hit the icicles. Love that. Ah, uh, 
come on. Helen worked in a toy shop. Oh, one morning she was killed oh. in the storage room. Poor thing. There were three suspects among the employees. I was helping a customer choose a doll for his daughter, so it couldn't have been me. I was helping somebody. I was busy, okay? She has an alibi. I was too busy being fabulous. Morgan. It was me who found her dead. <laughs> okay, you don't sound very scared, Morgan. All right. It was me who found her dead. <laughs> I was eating lunch. I was eating my gluten-free lunch. So, it wasn't me. Wait. So, all we know is that she worked in a toy store. She had a butcher knife uh -huh. in her back. And these are yes. the three stories that they have? Yes. But... It was me who found her dead. <laughs> Do you still think it's him? No, I'm just copying. <laughs> I'm just reading it again. <laughs> well, it was Laura. How do you know? Oh, I was on my lunch break. Yeah, Laura, it Laura, happened in the Laura morning. looking like she works out, though. She's yeah, no, she... Spilling out that pink shirt. <laughs> yeah, she she does some curls, and that's how she, was ma she managed to get the knife so deep. A pastry chef, Nora, was stabbed. <laughs> Why are they always stabbed? Even the kid. In the back of the store. Not, not the back of the back, in the back of the store. Uh, in the front of the stomach. There were only three of her colleagues in the store. Oh, why does the third one have a bloody hand? <laughs> oh, man, it, it's jelly. Oh, oh, okay. Who do you think it is? Syringe, Ooh. bloody syringe, girl. Well, the first one has a bloody apron. Yeah, but she was just, she was frosting a cake. The second girl has Wait, ripped up this? apron. Yeah, but she's also got cuts all over her. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's number two. I think it's number two, too. This four-eyed freak. You think tutu? Yeah, I think it's you tutu. You think tutu? I think it's oh, a tutu. Oh, you think tutu. <laughs> Let's go. Well, very good. Nora tried to protect herself and left these marks. Oh, too bad Nora didn't make it. At least that girl went out a fighter then. Gave her some scratches. Yeah, yeah, she was doing a little jujitsu. Good job, Nora. Oh, jeez, what kind of question is this? Whose father is a killer? Uh, well, this kid looks, like, traumatized. And C's got a skull bracelet, which is, like, not really a baby's style. <laughs> well, the first one has a bullet necklace. Oh, he does. But the third one has, like, a pentagram blanket. I'm gonna say B. Because B looks like they'd grow up to be a psycho. He's just so calm. With all that blood around him. <laughs> a looks like he's scarred for life. And C is just like, wee! <laughs> huh? Oh, well, we noticed that. Unusual choice, I agree. Wait, what about the skull bracelet? That's unusual. <laughs> yeah, what about the pentagram blanket? If I saw a baby with a skull bracelet, I'd be like, Demon! Wait, you gotta scream in that voice with Dean. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect, we did it. Perfect. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go and check out Jay's channel. We also filmed some hurry. riddles over on his. And yeah, hurry, hurry now. <laughs> hurry. <laughs> Don't tell Cassie, just, just hurry and go. Comment, I left because of Jay. Bye. Say bye, Jay. I already stopped my thing. Well, you can hear my oh, camera. Oh, damn it. Bye. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>